Using Visual Studio 2012 These instructions assume the use of Visual Studio 2012 professional version presented by Sheila Harry. Problems submitting your solutions whether by email or blackboard are normally the result in errors in one of the following three areas. Problem area 1 is improper creation of the project. Problem area 2 is improper saving of the project. And problem area 3 is improper compression of your project. Errors in your solution loading when it's submitted can be the result of a problem in any one of these areas or a combination of two or more. So let's first talk about creating your project. When you start Visual Studio 2012, this is the screen that you'll see. Your first step is to click on New Project in the left-hand menu as indicated by the arrow. This is what you should now see. Your second step is to be sure you choose the appropriate option. For c -sharp programming, this will be the Windows Forms application up at the top. Your next step is to properly name your project at the bottom of the screen where it says name. You can only use alphanumeric characters in your project name. Do not use dashes, underscores, or any of the characters like that. Once you have your project named, click OK. This is what you should now see on your screen. And you're ready to start designing your GUI, writing your code, and then testing your application. Now the second problem area is saving your project. When you have completed the program and are ready to save your project, follow these steps. First, on the upper toolbar, click on File. Follow the drop-down menu to Save All and choose that option. This will save your project in its entirety. Choosing any option other than Save All will likely result in your solution not loading properly. And the third problem area is compressing your project file for submission. Go to Documents and choose the Visual Studio 2012 folder. Open this folder and you should see a folder named Projects. Open the Project folder and you should be able to locate the project that you just completed and saved. Do not open this individual project folder. Again, do not open this folder. Instead, right click on the folder, follow the drop down menu to the Send To option, and then across and choose the Compressed Zipped Folder option. You will now see your program in a zipped folder. This is the folder you will attach in Blackboard for submission. If you try to first copy your project file to another location, such as a thumb drive or a thumb drive to your PC, and then compress the project file, there's a likely chance your solution is not going to load properly when it's submitted. So your compressed project file is now ready to be attached as a file in the assignment submission link in Blackboard.